Alright then, this would be my first attempt at a survival guide. So then let's create a new world. See, game mode survival obviously. Structures on because villages and dungeons are cool. Uh, world type. Default is default of course. Super flat is more for creative mode building. Large biomes is interesting, but kind of a pain if you get if you're really unlucky, which I kind of am. So I'm gonna stick with default. No cheats. Bonus chests off because that can range from totally useless to making survival a piece of cake, which is not the point of this. So let's see what we get. And ooh. Yay. Okay, this would be this would be a forest biome. There's some there's some sheep. Yay. Uh nice beach area here. More sheep down there. Lots of trees, which is really good. And let's get started. In the scene, the scene that you've seen millions of times before, punching out a tree. Trees. For if you're just starting and re and watching this to learn how to play, in which case I pity you because I am not a good teacher. Um, trees will drop saplings, which you plant to get to grow another tree. They are vital for Survival Island style plays, which is you're on an island with usually one tree and you know, have to survive obviously. As if that was such a surprise with the title of Survival Island. They will also drop apples. Apples are kind of weak food-wise and they're rather rare from tree leaves, but if you really wanted to you could survive off apples and rotten flesh from zombies. I don't really want to do that because it's kind of gross, not to mention really boring. But let's punch one more tree just just for, to be sure. And Okay. Um, once again, for new players, the different kinds of trees will give you different colored planks. So oak, which would be basic, gives you these light, you know, lightish ones. Birch gives you these white ones. Um, jungle trees will give you these weird red planks. And swamp trees. I'm not sure if this was a texture pack because it's been so long since I played regular vanilla Minecraft. But swamp trees will generally will give this grayish, ugly, red, you know, ugly kind of plank that I really don't like. So I'm kind of glad to not spawn in a biome like that. But it kind of sucks too because swamps have naturally have mushrooms. Mushrooms, red and brown, combined with wood bowls, creates mushroom soup, which is not a stackable form of food, but it provides the most amount of the hunger, the little pieces of meat on the bottom right, and the most satisfaction, which is a hidden stat in the, in the hunger, which amount is basically how long each thing of hunger will last. I believe rotten flesh and melon it, and apples are the least filling or sorry not the least filling the least satisfying but you know when you have when you have to do it or when you have to survive it doesn't really matter 
Um, you see I'm collecting seeds right now from the grass instead of going mining right now, you know, first off. This is because seeds can be used to grow wheat, which is not the most reliable form of food source, but the easiest to maintain. Um, it is really slow growing unless you use bone meal. And there are mechanics you can use, like, um, with how you plant it in order to speed up how it grows. But as it's still based off chunk reload, it's not the fastest, ooh, not the fastest crop. This right here would be a ravine. There's some, there's some iron, there's a skeleton, which I want to get away from. And, let's see. Okay, first off, crafting table. And sticks. Oops. Okay. I didn't have enough planks to make a pickaxe. There are wood forms of all tools, which would be I just showed pickaxe. Oh, this is for farming and only farming. Shovel, which is for dirt, sand, and gravel. And axe, which is for tr which is for trees. And sword, which is for trees. No, it's for fighting off the things like that skeleton down there. I'm not only going to make a pickaxe because wood tools are the absolute worst and really terrible while stone is ridiculously easy to get and much better. So let's see if I can find a cave that's not a ravine. Ow. Huh. Well, let's go this way and punch more grass and find more sh and find more sheep. Uh, sheep will drop wool, which is handy for a bed along with paintings and decoration, but they don't drop anything edible, so kind of useless to me. And there's a wolf eating, trying to eat a sheep. Hey, free wolf. Maybe. Yay, free wolf. Okay. Wolves are kind of pointless. They will occasionally drop leather, I think, which is good for basic armor and books now, I believe. Um, their main purpose is PvP against other players, where you tame them with a bone and have, and can have you know, pretty much an army of them. It, it really imbalances PvP, so it's something that everyone tries to do. Okay, ooh, and there's a pig. Speaking of food, welcome to the Minecraft diet of bacon. As I totally miss with my fist. Yeah, your fist is pretty terrible for damage. A pickaxe will do more, but I need to save my pickaxe until I have stone. I could make a sword, but I'd rather not use a wood sword. Wood sword really serves one, really serves one purpose, and that is breaking cobwebs. Cobwebs are usually found in, a ban in abandoned mine shafts and slow everything. However, they, the best tool to break them is a sword, and there's no difference in speed between the different qualities of sword. So it doesn't matter if you pull out a diamond one to waste it, or if you have a wood one. And I lost the pig. Where did the pig go? There's a pig! How'd it get up there? Okay, I have five. I want to get three more, because coal and charcoal. Coal is the black stuff you is the black ore you mine. Charcoal ooh, good eight. Charcoal is made from cooking the raw logs. So these, not these, in a furnace. Um they are exactly the same. Charcoal will even give you experience for cooking it. Um and they will smelt or cook eight thing eight objects. Which is, you keep in mind and try only cook and uh, 
in wow I keep for, I keep losing my train of thought you keep trying to explore but something you keep in mind when smelting something so you don't end up wasting fuel ooh this is sugarcane sugarcane you can either harvest like that off the top and it will regrow or break the bottom and collect them all uh, it is used in paper which you can use to make maps and books and use the books to make bookcases which you then use to boost enchanting enchanting is not something you'll find that pe people go into a lot because there is quite a bit to do not to mention with Mojang cha um, changing how enchanting works it a lot of what what you what I could say now would be inaccurate within a month okay more sugar cane because I want bookcases to decorate and oh, I think it might get dark oh yeah it's going to get dark soon which means I need to find some place to hide or some place to dig into to get stone for a sword and then go hunting at night and wait, no stone and, okay, the wood pickaxe has 60 uses period this means this includes damage as one use, or damage as one use per amount. Or eventually, I'll get my words straight. Okay, if a pickaxe does like three and a half, or three and a half parts of damage, then that's three and a half uses. The wood pickaxe does nowhere near that amount of damage, but that was just an example. Which good piece of dirt. Place it up there. There we go. Okay. Now, an open circle like this gives you a furnace. This is used not just to not just to get meat for cooking or meat for eating, but to smelt any form of ore, along with make charcoal. Um, wood, regardless of what it is, so log or plank is one and a half items. However, however, if you paid attention, you'll see that one log makes four planks. So all it, so use planks over logs to smell. And in this and what I'm doing right here is use two planks, so three items or two planks which would smell three items, because it's one and a half each, to smelt three logs into charcoal. Charcoal and coal, as I said before, will smell eight. And just as a note, saplings are half, uh, depending on your version, are either half an item each or a quarter of an item each. And now, just make torches and light up so everyone can see. Okay, and get eight more charcoal and use this to make planks so I can make some stone tools. Okay, Let's see a pick and an axe. And let's go for let's go with two swords because swords will run out fast. Okay, it's nighttime, so that means it's time to go hunting. Let's see sheep, sheep. Zombie and a creeper. Ooh, skeleton. Whoa. That's not a good sight. Hey. Now, what, what you're seeing, this odd swing, is with how Minecraft works, you can hit with a sword and you can block with one. But there's nothing stopping you from doing both at once. So you'll usually see this done in PvP. 
and I think it counts as some kind of trade secret, but yeah. Okay. And that reduced my health quite a bit. I hate skeletons. Okay. Cut down a tree. So I need more wood. Again. You will never have enough wood, and anyone tell that tells you otherwise is lying. Now, let's see. Time to make a... I should have made this earlier, but a chest. And actually, I should make a door. So this is kind of safe to hide out into, or hide out in. Okay, use the chest to store any valuables I don't want lost. Hmm. That. Okay. Pork chops. And here is why you want to keep fed. Is if your hunger, if you're even two hearts below mat or two one and a half of the food thing below max, you will not regenerate health. You also cannot run if you are at three or less hunger. And good, rotten flesh. Rotten flesh, you can live off, live off it and do so very well, but it's kind of annoying to constantly hunt at night. Not to mention you have to keep remaking your sword. And I'll grab one more sheep so I can make a bed. Whoa. Not to mention, it's very dangerous to hunt at night. Um, I think it's in hard mode. Creepers will actually one-shot with explosions. Um, skeletons and such are really nasty. And spiders, which I actually have not found one yet, surprisingly. Whoa. Um, spiders, I like, because they're annoying when they're jumping around, dodging your shots and jumping down on you from up, from high places. They can drop string. String is surprisingly important. You can use four string in the same way a crafting table is to make one piece of wool, which is handy if you're low on sheep. But string is also used to make bow and arrows, which are the best weapon in the game. Who are <laughs> and no, not the diamond sword, bow and arrows. Um, it can also be used to make a fishing pole. Now fishing is really boring as with most every other game. Ooh, there's a spider. But it is very good for food. There we go. I don't think I will fish much because that make that just makes it way too easy. But I might have to if my luck keeps holding out the way it is. Crap. And there goes my sword. Come on. Ignore the sword in my hand. Come on, come on. I just want to shake hands. The sword is how I say hello. And I want want to find more zombies. There's more zombies. Ooh, this is fun. Sometimes sand will spawn like this. But if you force an update like that, you get a nice little nice little domino effect. Okay. Oh, creepers. Okay. Now, creepers are where you are where you actually where you have to be really careful. They have a fair amount of health and have the self destruct, which is really damaging. What you saw me do to knock it back is a sprint hit. Sprint hit do a much higher knockback. Oops. Which is useful for this. 
art, which is really useful for taking them down and if you're being overwhelmed by a group. So, and, and there you go. Okay. Did I see some zombies up here? I want to kill so, just a few more for more rotten flesh and because they can drop iron items. Which, if I can get an iron pick without actually having to mine, I would be really happy. Not to mention an iron sword. Ooh, there's a skeleton. And... Hmm. It's a bit disappointing. Let's break some more grass for more seeds. Wheat is only really reliable as a food source if you make a ton of it, or if you have a huge farm. Because otherwise it grows slow enough that you might starve to death. Especially if you are, if you are active during the night instead of just sleeping and then moving on. Because in combat, or if a mob is close enough to put you in combat, your hunger will go down a lot faster. Ooh. See. Down there are squids. Squids can drop ink sacks, which um, can be used to color wool, and I don't think anything else right now. So, eh. Um, you cannot breed them like you can other animals. But because you don't use ink for all that much, anyways, it doesn't matter too much, <laughs> all that much at all. There's the creeper hole, which means my base is probably not even close to here. Break more. Let's see. Two plus there, plus I think ten in there. Put, okay, so I should have thirteen. I want to get at least sixteen. So one more. Come on, one more. One more. There we go. Okay. All oh, good, and there's a nice bit of water right there. I should put that there so I can find this place again. Okay. Now, farming. Three, four, five. Okay, one water, it does not have to be a source block, just wa any form of water will hydrate four spaces of soil. So, I can do this to even it out and give me more room. So, one, two, three, four, five. Oops. And this is in diag this is diagonal too. So, this will be do one, two, three, four. Whoops. And I should go make a shovel. And I get stuck in the door. That happens with partial blocks a lot more than I'd like to admit. Okay. Take that in there, take that out, that, ooh, okay, uh, okay, three wood. Now here is some something kind of important, depending on how you play, or depending on how you play. It's a bed. A bed lets you sleep at night, so you can avoid all that nastiness and it resets your spawn point to where the bed is when you lay down in it. That is more handy, just in case you die, which means in hardcore mode, it's really not too useful. I mean, yeah, being able to sleep through the night is nice, but I'd rather go mining. Now, let's see... I was going to make a shovel. If 
There we go. And I'm trying to figure out what that what I keep seeing out of the corner of my eye. I think it might be an Enderman. I'm just saying hello, apparently. Okay. I should probably cut this tree down as well. Now, you'll notice I'm not breaking the leaves. This is because I'd rather not just waste hunger when they will just um, dissipate normally, especially since I'm going to be here wait with it to drop. Um, player placed leaves will not dissipate, but otherwise, otherwise they will if they are more than or if they are not connected to a log by four blocks. So let's find a tree I can go under. If I if I were to cut down the spawn part of the tree here, 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 and here, leaves would still remain as long as there's a log it's connected to. Which means big forests with them connected like this are really annoying. Now then, I need to make a hoe. Where, okay. Now, a stone hoe is pretty much all you'll need. Um, you can upgrade it to iron or diamond, but there's no point because that will increase the speed and uses, neither of which matter too much. Um, gold hoe is pretty much a waste of gold. Is a Not pretty much, it is totally a waste of gold. I mean, it's not like you'll use gold much for anything anyways in vanilla. But the whole point is that, see, it's instant on right click. So there is no speed to inc nothing to increase speed wise. Okay. Let's get my seeds out. You'll see you see how this darker area. That means it's hydrated soil, which means it's a lower chance of it breaking if you jump on it and it also means it will not break um, return to dirt over time for instance if I were to till something over here let's go with that oh. there eventually it will re return back to regular dirt now bones this is this will be why skeletons are one of the most useful mobs there is because you can craft a bone into bone meal as you just saw you know one bone is three bone meal and with you when you right click it on seeds of any kind so this pumpkin or melon saplings and actually I think that's it they will instantly grow to maximum to their maximum uh, maturity which since you can occasionally get more seeds from wheat than um, than the one that was used to plant it means it's really good if you have a limited amount of seeds. Of course, the opposite applies, and you can get no seeds from broken wheat, and that's just annoying. At sea, most of most of the tilled earth over here, which is out of range of being hydrated, has turned back to regular dirt. Oh, and I'm at three, so I can't run. If you'll see that I'm eating rotten flesh, it's because mostly it's a cheap, easy, and easy, easily renewed form of food. It's not the best, but whatever. And if you'll see that I'm holding shift when I walk over it, that's not needed anymore. Hydrated soil will not allow 
plant to a plant to break unless you run or jump on it. That's pretty much just habit of playing to for way too long. And one there. And yeah, I'll turn all my bones into bone meal. It's not like I can't get more. What is that? Is that a sheep? Yes, that's a sheep. Now, wheat can be used for obviously making bread. Um, you can use it to make cake, which isn't an overly useful food. It's basically just make you know make it and place it because you have nothing else to do. Uh, it is the only food source you can actually place in the world. But, eh, once again, it's just a show-off or decoration thing. Uh, actually, I should dig one out. Um, because animals or mobs falling onto the dirt will also, uh, um, the, until the toil flatten it, So do one space, and as long as I don't like hit a spider onto it, it should remain fine. Uh, okay. And I have eleven seeds left, so eight. And then these three. Okay, it's, getting, it's going dark, so I'm going to make a nut, you know as much bread as I can. Mm. And put my dirt in here. And I don't really want to sleep. Actually, be perfectly fine if I sleep. So I don't really need rotten flesh now that I have a decent sized wheat farm along with spare pork chops. Okay, daytime. There's Enderman. Don't you dare steal my farmland. Okay. Didn't steal my farmland, just stole my border around farmland. Thanks. Oh, and there's a squid spazzing out. Okay, I'm gonna sp let's sprint back to home. And actually, how much string do I have? I should have gone hunting for spiders. Oh, not enough. Well, I could I can make a fishing pole just to show. Uh, yeah, actually. Because this isn't personal survival, this is show off survival. So, this will be a fishing rod. Now, fishing rod is actually something you should bring to the nether because the bobber, when you cast it, will actually do a small amount of damage, and more importantly, you can use it to draw mobs towards you, like. Not like that. Like that. And it got stuck on the ground. Just take my word for it. Okay. Now, fishing. You can do this in water, I believe it's three deep or more. And if you right click when it bobs like that, you get a fish. A fish is just as good as bread and pork chop and cooked chicken for healing your hunger. But because all it requires is string and some sticks, this is probably the preferred method of getting food for Survival Island, and it's pretty much just easy. You just have to be patient. I'm not patient. Aha! And there we go. And it still gets stuck.
I will draw this sheep towards me. Come to me, sheep. Fine. Okay. Now then, have a little cave to get set up, or have a little cave base to hide in. Slept in the bed for spawn. Have a wheat, a wheat farm going already. This pretty much has you set up for surviving. Wheat will keep growing as long as you, you know, fish regularly or or just keep expanding the farm. You shouldn't run out of bread, or you know, just go hunting for for a bone meal. Um. Uh, I think that's actually long enough. So, bye!